Winnebago Micro Mini 2201 DS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And uh, this is a, a really cool uh, Murphy bed model, and it's a different type of Murphy bed. I've never seen one like this. This is one of my favorite types of trailers. This is a seven and a half wide, narrow body, super comfortably SUV towable tandem axle trailer. Um, that tandem axle, as opposed to a single axle, often found on uh, narrow body lightweights like this, will make this thing just tow like a dream because it is going to have an extremely light tongue weight. Um, now. All they're, they're, every trailer is the best for a different reason, but in this class, this is really a standout to me. Um, there's a few trailers that this compares well to, and there's a few it just straight up blows right out of the water. Give me a call, and I'd be happy to explain what I mean by that in more detail. But long story short, this has such a nice equipment com uh, complement to it, and it's built so well that it's just really earned my respect. So it's seven and a half wide instead of a full eight foot wide body. That means this is easier to see around when you're going down the road. Um, it's going to tow a little bit better because there's less headwind and it's just going to be a lot easier to park and change lanes. Uh, the, all Winnebago's, all Winnebago's, no matter how big or small, all use the exact same T60 high gloss gel coat. You can see it's literally uh, carrying a mirror-like polish on it. Um, that's because it's not just a high gloss fiberglass, it's a true gel coat. The neat thing about that is, God forbid, the neighbor kid like throws a stick and it dings up the nose of your trailer or the sidewall, you can buff that out of this. On a, a, a cheaper file line or something, I don't have a good example in front of me here now that I'm pointing, but on a cheaper file line, you can't do that. You're always going to see where that thing got scarred up. They use a different chassis down at Winnebago. It's a Norco frame, uh, NXG, BAL, there's 100 different names, it's the same thing. Uh, but it's a aircraft frame, basically. It's a high strength, low alloy steel frame. It is very strong, very lightweight. Um, these have a propane quick connect on the other side of the trailer, so if you bring a grill, there is a spot to hook up to those. Notice that extra, extra large bedroom window there. They are very good at putting big, big windows in these. These have galvanized steel wheel wells, so that if you experience a blowout, one of your radial tires isn't going to bash up the interior of your RV when you're going down the road. Smart features like that. Another nice thing, this is actually really important, all of their breeze through windows are jealousy style. They're not slider windows. Windows. That means you can use these windows in the rain. Uh, that is a huge critical difference from almost all other lightweights out there with very few exceptions. Uh, we've outfitted this with a power awning. We've outfitted it with a bigger air conditioner. There's a couple things we've added to this that uh, are not standard, like the awning has LED lighting even. There's an outside TV station here. There's a black tank flush on the other side. I'm mentioning this stuff because uh, the, uh, the visual aesthetics of this trailer can vary differently from one to the next. Uh, this is one of the only brands that will actually give us color options on the skin of the trailer. Here we've got the beautiful Winnebago Platinum, but there's also a white, a champagne, a cherry red, and a blue. There's five different ways this trailer could look drastically different. What's neat too is they'll actually put little color accents in your aluminum wheels to complement the skin color. Um, the uh, the platinum and blue, that's about the only time that uh, they, they're, it's the, the sidewalls and the, uh, the wheel accents aren't exactly the same. But that blue and that platinum works really well together because it matches the Winnebago logo spot on. Um, the uh, construction here, this is uh, all aluminum framed everywhere. We have laminated sidewalls, we have uh, tongue and groove plywood floor, we have excellent materials in the right places. We've put on a bigger entry handle here so that this is just easy come and easy go because what we have found in our experience is it's really been the 50 and up crowd who's really enjoyed these Winnebago's and hey, I know that I'm in my mid 30s and my right knee gives me problems sometimes. I know that my grandmother had some titanium knee replacements here. So, you know, the bigger handle is just easier and that's also why they use a double entry step instead of a single. Uh, another nice thing is the door is strutted so that it doesn't fly open and smash against your patio awning door over here. If you buckle that thing, it's toast. They have a very, very, very large and generous front pass-through storage here. And this is something no other Murphy bed model I have ever seen has. Um, Rockwood has found a way to put a small pass-through storage in their Murphy beds, and it's great. Don't get me wrong, any storage is better than none. This is the only one I've ever seen that still has a full front pass-through. And that's a battery disconnect switch over there, by the way, so that things like your TV, your water heater, your DVD player, your microwave, your fridge, when they're not in use, they actually go into low power mode, not no power mode. That battery disconnect switch keeps your uh, 
you know, appliances from killing your battery when you're not there. Let's hop inside real quick. I think I mentioned if I forgot, or if I didn't, 3,780 pounds. This is called the Mamba Decor. Uh, it's uh, lighter leatherettes. If this had a dinette, it would also have um, some uh, a couple very minor dark accents uh, in fabric to it. But this is the lighter decor, and it goes very well with the lighter wood tones used in the Winnebagos. And that's the thing is this little camper doesn't really feel so little. Now this is very cool in that it is two floor plans in one. You've probably seen other trailers that look like this. They have a front bed, they have a sofa that comes out, the little freestanding table. None of this is new. This is not a new concept, but the way they went about this is totally different. So this flips up out of the way and then the sofa back just flips up. That's it. That's all the harder this is to convert this from a, uh, a front bedroom to a front living room. Now we've got more seating during the day. Now if you want to, to make this a little uh, prettier, you can always pull that uh, bedspread over top of the mattress. I'm gonna leave it like this just for real quick demonstration purposes. Now another thing they did to give you even more storage is they just put this little easy drop down storage compartment right here. So you actually have separate inside and outside storage. Very smart, very cool. And that's, I mean, it's just simple. And that's all it has to be. It's a camper, it's not a house. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to have some special locking mechanism. All you have to do is just make it work. And it, this works well, it works so well. Uh, so once again, that little dining table and you're not using it actually stows right behind the sofa. So you don't need to burn up extra storage space for that. We talked about the big breeze through windows here, how you can use those in the rain. And again, superior materials make for a superior product. That's wood, not, not foam. You usually get MDF foam in this class. You usually get staple cabinetry. This is all screwed together. Um, you know, there's, there's good and there's better, and this qualifies in that better category for sure. Um, this, uh, they use all Jensen electronics so that the TV and the DVD player talk to each other. The DVD player down here is uh, obviously your stereo, but it is also Bluetooth enabled. So you can take your you know, fancy pants smart devices out of your pocket wirelessly Bluetooth that stereo. And these things have a ridiculous like 30 yard range or something like that. I was, I tested it out one time and I couldn't believe how far away I could get from them. Um, the, uh, this has a small kitchen, but you know what? It's adequate. It's got a, it, you got the little extra kitchen countertop uh, shelf here when you need it. You've got the uh, stove top cover over here. So you've got a little bit of counter space and I love that they're using stainless sinks instead of the cheaper plastic. Once again, just like the hardwood slide fascia, just like the plywood floor and all the aluminum framework. It's all those little things that add up to make this thing so rock solid. And we just, we just don't have Winnebago problems. That's what I like about these. This is a fun brand to sell because they look really, really good and they perform so well. It's it, like as a salesperson, if, if something breaks, I'm terrified because now, I mean, I have to jump in there and I have to try to be Superman to, to get things going back the right direction. I don't have that concern with Winnebago's. They just perform. Foot flush stool here with enough leg room for a big guy like me. What's really smart, here, let me, why well, talk about it when I can show you. I've got really, really, really big legs. Well, this is a smaller bathroom, so they built the door up so I can slide my feet under it. So it actually has a deceptively large uh, bathroom space. And I suppose when people see my brown shoes sticking out from under the bathroom door, they'll realize that the bathroom is occupied. <laughs> Uh, stainless sink in the bathroom is another one of those things that surprised me when I first saw this. Little campers usually have smaller budgets and that means they have reduced uh, features. And I don't see that in here. Everything is fully featured. Everything is well built. Everything's consistent and clean. Uh, big closet back here. This is something that I've always liked. Is there? It just seems like there's never enough storage in the bathrooms of campers and this does not suffer from that deficiency. And this has a huge shower. I don't know if you realized when I was taking the photos, the pictures over here, I was standing in that shower. I'm a big guy. And for extra room, they even curved the top shower track here to give you the extra space. And they do have both a power vent fan and a ceiling skylight up here. That's that's what I like about these. There's It, it, it does everything it needs to. It does it so well, and then it does more. And it, I mean, this, the, the giant windows here, that is just no small thing, guys. I'm not, I don't even mean that as a size pun. I mean, having the windows in here for light to, to go with the very light interior tones and then the, the very light fabrics, it makes this little camper not feel so little and you're not gonna hate spending time in it. So give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, everybody. Stay safe, have fun. Happy camping, everyone.
That's all there is to it. Just that easy.